Hey there, this is Felix from Gold Armour Vintage Watches. Many people heard of Eterna, but not much. In fact, they have some beautiful timepieces in their vintage catalogs. And today we want to put the so-called Eterna Contiki onto your radar. It's an affordable, reliable, clean designed vintage piece with a rich and resting history. Wristwatches have accompanied practically all risky expeditions since the beginning of the 20th century when wristwatches replaced pocket watches. The Speedmaster Professional from Omega is known for being the first wristwatch on the moon. Sir Edmund Hillary and his Sherpa wore that watch that became the Explorer when they climbed the Mount Everest. And believe us, the story behind the Eterna Contiki is no less exciting. So let's dive into the backstory of this appealing vintage watch. In 1947, Thor Heyerdahl, a Norwegian explorer, and five crew members set out on a journey across the Pacific Ocean from South America to the Polynesian Islands on a wooden raft. And this raft was called Contiki. The crew members reportedly wore Eterna watches on their wrists. On this picture, you can see the whole crew. I hope I pronounce them right. Knud Oakland, Bank Danielsen, Thor Heyerdahl, Eric Hasselberg, Thorstein Rabi, and Herman Watzinger. Curiously, it is not known if Mr. Heyerdahl himself wore an Eterna watch. In the Contiki Museum is a watch display labeled as the Expedition's Chronometer, a military-issued Longines COSD tuner can. This piece was made for British paratroopers during World War II. However, Longines did not make it into the history books for these expeditions. But Eterna did. But why this expedition? Why Eterna watches? The expedition was largely to test a hypothesis Mr. Heidel had. Could the islands of the South Pacific be populated by South Americans? The crew members did not want a large maritime chronometer and therefore reliable, waterproof wristwatches were to be commissioned to each member. The company that would provide these for the crew members was Eterna. Any expert of the time was 100% sure that it was not possible to cross the Pacific Ocean in a wooden raft. But after a few weeks at sea, the experts were proved wrong and the ship was definitely able to withstand the elements. Three months later, after sailing for 101 days, the Contiki finally arrived in Polynesia. The expedition was a success and the hypothesis was tested. Needless to say, the entire crew's watches arrived in perfect condition without being affected by moisture corrosion or adverse factors. Keep in mind that the watches have not only been exposed to heavy rough weather, but also to intense use that even include shark fishing. 11 years after this famous expedition, Eterna commemorate its involvement with the release of the new Eterna Contiki. Like the very first Contiki, our today's piece from the 1960s features the reference 130 TT. The TT letter code represents a new case design credited in the reference system as super waterproof, caused on the screwed down case back. Earlier Terna waterproof models from the 1940s and 50s features the letter codes T, DT or BDT. T or DT stood for a waterproof case while BDT indicated a waterproof case and bracelet. The dial of the first Contiki was loomed with radium, as were well the oversized and highly legible triangular hour markers and the large hands. A lot of companies relentlessly copied this design for the following decades and still do it until today. Over the time, there were a few sublines from the Contiki, but the main subline was the Super Contiki a series of diving watches with a rotating bezel. As pretty much all mechanical contigues were automatic, the dials on these were signed Eterna-Matic. Just like all automatic Eternas, after the introduction of the Eterna-Matic ball bearing system and Eterna's in-house water automatic movements with the same system. If you find a vintage contigue with Eterna only on the dial, you can be sure it's 100% a redial. Furthermore, Eterna always marked the dials with the country of origin. And the three inscriptions they used were Fab Suisse, Fabrique en Suisse, and Swiss. No more, no less. 
So if you can find a dial with SwissMate under the six hour marker, it's also a redial. Now we want to share our thoughts and feelings about our today's piece. As you well know by now, we have a strong passion for classic vintage watches. This Eterna is very modest and reduced to a minimum. It's truly about representing the essentials only with no added distractions and fits perfectly our taste. It was born in the 1960s and comes in a 37mm stainless steel case. So just look at the clear, uncomplicated white dial and take your time to enjoy all details. Start your visual journey at this small and subtle Eternamatic wording crowned by the simple and discreet five ball bearing logo. It commands a place at the top of the dial leaving no doubts as to the accuracy of the timepiece while the celebratory contiki is lower and elegantly written in a larger font which adds sophistication and class to the overall package. The pyramid shaped baton hour markers pointing inwards catching the light from different angles. The indices are subdivided by small minute dots and the slim dauphine shaped hands are elegant but not too thin adding to the functional look of the watch. To round off the high quality look you can also find the five ball logo on the original crown and clasp. Inside the case body beat the Eterna Matic Caliber 1414UD and we are fascinated by the thin case and how such a reduced size automatic movement could be so accurate. Despite its small size and thickness it had an extraordinary and classy presence on the wrist. Each timepiece of the Contiki collection has an engraved medallion of the famous draft on the case back. This series being more rugged than what Eterna usually had to offer. This timepiece is a great example how you can get a lot of watch for less money. As Mr. Heyerdahl said, I have never seen borders, but I have heard they exist in the minds of some people. With this statement, we say goodbye for today. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new.